welcome guys back in the course in this lecture we will talk about local variables I'm uh, teaching you step by step everything so you guys can also practice uh, this I mean lectures in previous lecture I told you about echo and print so once again I'm telling you that echo is a special command in PHP which is uh, used for displaying something any variable any array or anything or simply text so in this uh, in previous lecture we actually you know added some data from our uh, side to these two I mean inverted commas and displayed that now once again I will create a copy of this page save is in the same folder and this will be variables.php so I will again remove these things okay now so in previous lecture we echoed some text you know generic text now in this lecture I'm telling you about local variables local variables are those variables which you create yourself and you assign some values to local variables for example local variables are always created and started with this dollar sign after you add the dollar sign in PHP then you can give any name to your variable your local variable and you can access that variable wherever you want and you can also change that vari variable wherever you want using different logics basically but the first thing is to just I want to create a variable with this name just this is just name you can give any name uh, and you can create uh, more and more variables I mean thousands of variables or hundred of as many as you you need or you want so dollar sign then name whatever you want to give and after uh, you cannot start the name with this one two three like this you know with the uh, numbers you cannot start with numeric value you can this start this with text or you know with the string value not with the integer so this I say this will will be will be equal to uh, my name Abdul Wali and since Abdul Wali is a text value so text is called string value so I have to write this inside the two uh, I mean commas inverted commas and then since this line has been declared so I added semicolon now after that I will create another variable with the name age this will be equal to uh, 26 so I added 26 without any code CTC that's mean this is why because this is actually numeric value this is integer so I don't need to a add any kind of uh, I mean this inverted commas now in the next step I can echo out these two variables like name and then what I can do uh, first of all I, I will echo the name variable and the name variable is actually equal to this value because we have assigned this value this equal mean assigning a value to the variable so control s to save now I have echo name so it should display Abdul Wali on the page you go to the browser I'm on the same uh, PHP tutorials folder will write variables dot PHP and enter you can see Abdul Wali has been just uh, displayed on the page now I will say here I will echo age that's it control s to save I just click here Abdul Wari 26 now if I am a little bit more smarter and logical then I will just remove this in the single line I can display <coughs> both the variables that we have assigned values to but here we always use the dot sign which actually can catenates two variables if you want for example we'll say age name variable then dot sign mean concatenation is both will be connected or will be displayed together on the page like we did before control is uh, I mean refresh the page and you can see Abdul Wari 26 years that is the same thing now if I want uh, some more I mean beauty in this then I will add one two uh, inverted commas 
and then a dot sign again now here I will say Abdul Wali is 26 I mean this will be the value of the age and after that once again dot and then years old and I am making a space here this is because this will actually make a real space on the page and I have also made a space here so that the name is this and this is or not just next to each other so control is to save now I will come here replace the page and you can see Abdul Wali is 26 years old so what is important to note here that the name is coming from this variable dynamically the age uh, variable we have assigned a value and the is is just a static text and years old is also text uh, I mean a, uh, a static uh, text and we have conne uh, concatenated all these with these dot signs and you can actually change the value anytime for example 28 click control is to save now come here refresh the page and you can see 28 years so this is nice I'll just uh, make a little bit zoom of this page so you can see here something like that now we can create more variables for example city equal to London country equal to a UK phone equal to so this all variable then we can actually echo them out and we save most of the time we save data and local variables to insert into a database but this is just telling you about the local variables in practical ways we will use them later in projects basically so you will understand their, them more easily but at the moment I am just explaining to you that what are local variables local variables are just simply you create yourself assign a value or whatever so that keeps the value and you can change them anytime you want refresh the page and you can see London UK and this number that is because there is no break line or anything or something so that's it in next lecture we're coming back and then and be discussing global variables these are local variables uh, in this lecture I have told you about local variables now in the next lecture we'll talk about global variables